Hey guys, it's TTL back with another rush kit video for you. And this is the first of the R9 300 series cards that we've had on the channel. And it's the Asus Strix Gaming R9 380. I'm not 100% sure about all this red and the gaming coming in with this Strix brand as well now. Finally got Strix on the inside of the packaging as well though. And here, and it's more of the red again sadly. Although maybe not sadly. I do like the black and red. I just think it's uh, be becoming a little bit too samey and all the brands seem to have it at the moment. I'm not 100% sure. The white though, that's nice. I like white, everyone's allowed white. So here we get our first look at the card itself. And uh, it's actually got a funky little app, which I'll show you later. But if I say that it's a 990 megahertz um, uh, factory overclock, but you can put it into an OC mode and it'll bump it up another 20 megahertz. And that takes it up to, uh, uh, 1010 and it's the first of their 100% automation uh, GPU build as well um, and there's a much more stringent quality control and uh, it's actually a flux free production as well because like these bits in the olden days here would have been very like catchy on your t-shirt and stuff because you had all the little bits sticking out the back where people had had to solder uh, points in and essentially I'm not sure whether it's going to let me do it but it's all much cleaner now, much, much cleaner. I am gonna take it off and show you all the bits and bobs, but essentially, like I said, it's a solder-free production now. It's all 100% automated, so robots built this card now. Um, but, so the 380, we can today say that it is essentially the 285 underneath. Um, so the actual GPU core itself is the same. Now the reason why I decided to show you the Asus one is we've got the new cooler, we've got the new fans, they will uh, go into a passive mode and stop spinning as well, so it makes it a lot quieter, so that's all nice, but the most important thing is that's PCB, and it's the first of the graphics cards I've had in my hands with the 100% automated process. Um, uh, other points that we do need to raise as we go around, you've got little lights up here, so when you put your power in, uh, they will go white when it's powered correctly. Uh, if you haven't got the power in uh, at all, or you haven't got the power in correctly, they light up red. Um, we've got uh, this massive 10 millimeter heat pipe here, but when we are round on this side, we've got two beefy eight millimeter heat pipes. Um, other things that we can see, you can see it's the direct CU technology, but we've seen it a couple of times. I've not said anything about it yet, but that back plate, I actually really like. It's uh, trying to get it without so you can see the camera shadow. You can see the little indentations in the back. And I think it's a really nice touch. Obviously, it's a good thing that we've got the writing up the right way. You'd be amazed how many times that doesn't happen. Uh, this part of the card itself is plastic uh, with the fans in. But then you can obviously see the normal metal um, uh, heat sink underneath, which is quite large for a card of this size as well. If you're wondering about power, when you see the single weight pin, think to yourself, that's only one cable that you need to bring up here. So the fact that it's only one cable means that's um, uh, going to be less cabling, less mess inside your rig. The new uh, GPU Tweet 2 is actually quite a good little app now as well. Um, you've got the uh, gaming mode, there's an overclock mode, and you've got the silent mode. You can also set up your own profile as well. Just gives you some really nice touches to be able to keep an eye on the, the graphics card itself. And I've actually been using um, the GPU Tweak for my Asus graphics card reviews for quite some time. So don't go thinking that it's just another kind of like busy body add-on. It's actually a really nice bit of software. Okay, so with it all naked, first things first, we'll take a look at the back of the cooler. And you can see the two eight heat pipes on this side, the single 10 millimeter one here, which is obviously the largest one. And this obviously carries the heat out the furthest away uh, from the card as well. But then there's no other contact points on the cooler itself, and they all blow down at the PCB. But we'll just show you the back of the back plate. This is the bit that you don't normally see, but you can see that there is a uh, protective plastic coating on this, so that just in case of any shorts. But then you've got your uh, back plate, which is uh, quite light, actually quite flexible. But then the PCB itself and things on here are incredibly clean. And really, you don't really get a chance to appreciate it until you come in 
and wait for the camera to focus. There we go. So when you come in and you get to see how clean everything is around the components. Now, the components on this side, I can say that this is a, an eight phase super alloy power and it uses the super alloy power two chokes. Uh, which decrease uh, decrease buzzing noise with concrete alloy choke, so that's all about that. And then you've got um, the super alloy power two MOSFETs as well. Sorry, I went off because I was reading from the uh, spec sheet. Uh, but when we go around the back, that's when it all gets a bit mental, and this is what their new automated process is about. Because just look at that. There's just and look, there's next to nothing. The only things that are actually poking out from the back of the card are um, components themselves. Now I'm going to hope that the camera is going to keep up. But you can see that you do have components around the back of the car but there are no pins or anything poking out. It's all super super clean. It almost makes the card itself look a bit um, uh, unfinished. But look at it, look at that, look. All where the memory is on the other side. Nothing there at all. MOSFETs and stuff. The only thing that I'm catching my fingers on are the points where there are actual components around the back and I'm quite impressed that my camera stayed focused for such a long time. But the actual look of that PCB is immense. So if you wondered what all of that 100% um, uh, was about, now you know and boy you can tell the difference. But anyway, that's it for now peeps. It was just a quick look at the Asus 380 uh, Strix Gaming, R9 380, it's the first 300 series card on the channel. But yeah, that's it, for now at least. It's TTL with another Rush Kit video for you.